Hey guys, it's Rob here and welcome to Infamous News. It seems that the PS Vita is finally dead. Now, if you haven't heard, there was an interview with the Sony Interactive Entertainment Vice President Hiroyuki Oda and he had this to say to Famitsu. Currently, we do not have any plans regarding a new handheld device. In Japan, we will manufacture a PlayStation Vita until 2019. From there, shipping will end. Now this is unfortunate because the PS Vita is a game system that got little love from PlayStation and a lot of love from of course the PS Vita users and the indie devs that made games for the PS Vita. It was a great system with smooth AI, good hardware for the time at least, but it was bogged down by Sony's forced memory that they made the PS Vita users to pay for. And the thing is, if it wasn't that much money, it wouldn't have been a problem. But the thing is, is that it cost up to $100, sometimes even more depending on where you go. And that that was a big problem for the PS Vita. If Sony ever brings back the PS Vita, which is highly unlikely, but if they ever step into the handheld market again, I hope they look at the 3DS and the Nintendo Switch for inspiration. Not so much as the, how the system works, but how you support the system and what kind of memory you use, etc. Things that make the system great. A good and well supported PS Vita would be huge for PlayStation and could go very well with the next gen PS5 system that we've been hearing rumors and talk about in the in gaming industry. It would be a huge surprise if they were to announce a PS Vita 2 alongside the PS5, though that won't happen. It would be interesting nonetheless. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more infamous gaming news. See you next time.